You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. Welcome back to The Splash. I'm Sheena Monin, and here with me on the show this week is Lisa Brown, Oakland County Clerk and Register of Deeds. Lisa, thank you for being here today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to learn some new information. Your job is actually quite fascinating. <laughs> you do a lot of different things. Do a lot of different things, Tell yes. me a little bit about some of the things that you are involved in as you serve the public. Okay. Well, broadly, I am the keeper of the records. Oh, that sounds um, very official. <laughs> So uh, on the clerk side, we're talking about vital records, birth, marriage, death, oh, wow. um, yes. CPLs, assumed names, business-wise, um, and then uh, circuit court records, so our legal records with oh, our okay. circuit court in Oakland County, and then uh, register of deeds, so deeds involving real property in Oakland County, and then I'm also in charge of the elections in, mm -hmm. in that role um, as well, and then wow. there's a lot of little things as well. But. Wow, yes, you can also marry people, right? I do, yes, wow, and I have fun. yeah officiated for quite a few. It's that's fun when I can do that, when I have the yeah. time that I can do so that. So every day is a little different then? Every something. day is a little different, yes. Mm, yes. Very cool. And nice. some things are seasonally like elections. That uh, takes more of our time sometimes than others. It's full time, but sometimes they're busier than others. Yeah, crazy. So let's, let's think a little bit about elections. Mm -hmm. We have a general election coming up here in, in a little while. Yep, in And November. so tell me a little bit about how people can register. What are the ins and the outs? We sure. want to go into detail and make sure people understand yes. how they can get their voice heard. Yes. And there are different there are differences in how you register to vote, and they will make oh, a difference to you on election day. Okay. So the way that our law is in Michigan, if you register to vote in person, and I'll explain what that means, um, then you can vote absentee the first time. Oh. So let me explain that a little bit more. So in person by law means at a Secretary of State's office, at your local clerk's office, or at your county clerk's office that you would register to vote. It's not at a voter registration drive by some organization or on campus or something like that unless one of those people are present and checking your ID. Um, and to be able, I think this is most important for our kids that are going off for college, that um, before they before they head off to the dorm or, or yeah. you know, their fraternity or Greek or whatever, um, that they register to vote and they do that in person. That way they can apply for an absentee ballot, have, them, have it sent to them at college, and then they can mail it back. We want to make sure everybody has access to the ballot, that their voice, vote, their voice can be heard. Um, so, I mean, you can st also register to vote by mail, but again, then you're going to have to vote in person that very first time. So that's the difference between those. Um, and uh, I, I, the deadline for the November election is October 9th. So okay. we have a 30 day, 30 days before each election, it kind of, we kind of close shop. Mm -hmm. That's according to state law to say that's the last day you can register for the next election. And as long as you're going to be 18 by election day, you can register to vote. So if your birthday is November 1st, you know, it's in the, within that 30 day window, but you will be 18. Go ahead and register, but make sure it's before that 30 days. That's so go time. and register in September. Or August. <laughs> Very nice. Good. And you're really involved in high schools and in colleges trying to help people understand how to make sure that they have their voice heard and things like that? Yes. I go to many of our high schools and our college campuses and do voter registration drives at a lot of our high schools. I do it with our local clerks. Okay. Um, we're all there. And um, I guess the benefit of me being there is that I can register anybody from the county because oh. when you go to our high schools, sometimes, you know, not everybody who goes to West Bloomfield High School, lives in West Bloomfield. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a lot of municipalities that are involved and, and not every local clerk can always make it on that day that we're doing it. So I'm there to cover everything else. And um, it's great. We, I have stickers that say I registered to vote today. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's, it's a great way to engage our, our like I said, our, especially our high school students and uh, make sure that they have access to the ballot, especially if they're going away to college. That's really exciting. I, I appreciate all of this information, and I really love that you're getting kids right out of high school and in college and reinforcing the, the importance of this topic. Mm -hmm. It really is great. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for If people me. are interested in getting more information on voting or on registering, is there a great website they can visit? They can always go to my website, okay. uh, ogov.com. Uh, oh, okay. But um, as far as for 
who to vote for. I think that can be overwhelming for people. The League of Women Voters um, is a wonderful nonpartisan resource for people oh, to, okay. to utilize. Oh, okay, great. Thank you so much. Appreciate yeah. it. No, my, pro my problem. <laughs> Once again, everyone, we've been speaking with Lisa Brown, Oakland County Clerk and Register of Deeds. Thanks for watching a segment of The Splash. To catch the entire show or other segments, watch us on Comcast Channel 15 or AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us on WBLD 89.3, the all-new Lakes FM.